Hey, it's a big deal because the Logan Theater is getting ready to raise the curtain this week. Who better than Jake Hamilton to give us an inside tour? Good morning. Good morning, guys. I love theaters like this. You know, just about everyone in our area has a big chain theater around the corner from them, right? And that's great because, you know what, movies are back. We're excited to go back to the big screen. But what I love about Chicago is how many of, like, the old school, iconic, classic movie theaters are reopening in our city. They survived a very tough year. And what I love about these theaters, it's like a time machine. It's like going back to watch a movie in the 1920s. It's so beautiful. It's so iconic. The Logan Theater here in Logan Square, of course, being a big one. I'm here with Jennifer, who's marketing with the theater. Jennifer, since we have been sort of just outside, people keep running by and screaming to you guys, oh, you're reopening. I'm so like the neighborhood is thrilled that you guys are back. We are just too excited to turn on the projectors. Welcome back our guests. Welcome back our community. Um, they've been really, really supportive through social media, through the shouts that you hear when we're setting up. Um, we, we're just too excited. There's so many words. <laughs> now, you guys, one of the things I love about this theater, you guys have obviously the new movies that are coming out, but you guys also play the old school classics. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, probably my second favorite horror movie of all time. The things I love about the theater, the old posters framed on the wall, this really does feel kind of like a time machine, like you're going back to watch a movie in the 40s, the 50s, 60s, or the 70s. Thank you for that. We tried really hard um, to bring it back to its glamour, and uh, we were really fortunate enough to find these posters up in a fire safe when we reopened back in 2012. Now, of course, it is, of course, all about the theatrical experience, getting people back there. You know, they, they've been watching stuff at home, streaming for the last year. They're ready to go back into a theater, and you guys have your theaters ready to go for them. Oh, we are so ready. We're cinema safe. We are going to follow all of the guidelines, stick to social distancing, please wear your mask, sa uh, sanitary measures even. Um, so we're ready for you. So we can't wait to see you. Now, you guys are opening tomorrow. The marquee outside is ready, as we saw earlier in the show. Uh, what, are, what else do people need to know? Showtimes are available on the website? Showtimes are available on the website. Highly suggest buying your tickets online, especially if you're in a large group, mm -hmm. so that way we can make sure you're socially distanced inside of the auditorium. Beautiful. Jennifer, thank you so much. Guys, we're going to be live out here at the Logan Theater as they gear up to reopen tomorrow. As you know, I love sort of the old school theaters like this. Coming up in the next hour, I'm going to be talking with the cast of a little movie called Army of the Dead, which I told you is Ocean's Eleven with zombies. Yeah. And guess what? It does start streaming on Netflix tomorrow, but you can see it on the big screen here at the Logan Theater. And let me tell you, it is a big screen movie. I'm going to come out, whenever I saw it to interview the cast, I had to watch it at home. You know, first world problems, but I'm actually going to come out and see it on the big screen because it's a big summer zombie movie, and we're going to talk with the cast coming up in the next hour. But I don't know about you, I'm so excited that the Chicago Neighborhood Movie Theaters are back. We never know it, Jake. We cannot feel the enthusiasm <laughs> I know, oozing. I'm trying to be more the, excited the in the screen. next hour. So that, then you mentioned the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like the original one back yeah. from the 80s. Was it the 80s? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's it, yeah. It's in the mid '70s. Terrifying. It, uh, Toby Hooper filmed in Austin. Did you know? Fun fact: It's b loosely inspired by a true story by a guy in Wisconsin. Ed All Dean. the events that it's inspired by didn't take place in Texas. Took place mm -hmm. in Wisconsin. Ed Gein. Oh, that's no. right. Ed Gein. Yep, I How knew that because that? that movie creeped me out. Anita knows. I know. All right. Thanks a lot, Jake. Appreciate that. Don't go away. Bye, we have much more.